This Week in Housing with me, Luke Jones, at the Experience Team, part of KWX, so your local area estate agency and property experts. First, let's go big picture and look at the current rate of inflation, which is currently sitting at 10.1%, which is ever so slightly down on last month's 10.4%. However, the real cost of goods is still at record highs and the banks are grappling with a stubbornly high level of inflation and may well choose to raise interest rates yet again in May. This will continue to put pressure on the cost of living and yet the Bank of England has to do something to bring inflation down at the same time as not risking consumer confidence any further. These are challenging and volatile times for sure and so it's more important than ever to continue to educate you, my consumers in the marketplace, so that if and when you're considering making a move or a big choice with your property needs, you can do this with knowledge and perspective. Current mortgage interest rates are definitely now more stable since the beginning of the year, which is good. After mortgage interest rates hit 5% and above during the mini-budget period and the weeks of turmoil shortly afterwards, rates are now cooling, with some lenders offering long-term fixed rates below 4%, and the average fixed rates are in the low to mid 4% range. These rates are returning to more normal level after many years of unusually low borrowing rates. However, if the Bank of England does raise interest rates in May, we might see some upward pressure from the mortgage lenders out there. We'll be keeping a close check on this. Overall, we're simply going to have to get used to a new era of higher mortgage interest rates. And in the medium to long term, this will cause the prices of homes to go down in time. For the homeowner and consumer out there, what you want to know and what you need to know is what effect this will have on your cost of home ownership, your monthly payments. And when all is said and done, how much can you afford on a monthly basis to live in the home you want? With all the complexity around interest rates, inflation, mortgage types and home values, the simple fact is that if you are comfortable with your monthly outgoings and you have some degree of certainty about what you can afford, then you're gonna have more confidence and you will be willing to and able to take action and make decisions. So my job is to ensure that you're educated about what's happening in your local market so that then you can make informed, confident decisions. This week, we're gonna continue exploring the beach community of Exmouth and compare it to its nearest city of Exeter. So let's dive in and do the numbers. In Exmouth, there are currently 306 homes for sale, which is up ever so slightly on last week, which is about one third the number of homes for sale in Exeter. With a population roughly one fifth the size of Exeter, it has a larger proportion of homes for sale per capita than its nearest city. The average home price in Exmouth is 398,000 compared to Exeter with an average asking price of 422,000. We've seen 39 new homes hit the market in Exmouth compared to 120 new homes hitting the market in Exeter in the last two weeks. Now, because of the wide variety of homes and prices, it's also helpful to understand the median price of a home in Exmouth, which is £356,000, which is about £50,000 higher than the national median house price of £296,000. Of those 303 homes on the market, the median time on the market is 65 days, which would suggest that we're still in a seller's market. 65 days means that we have approximately two months supply. Anything less than three months supply would indicate a seller's market. Now, month supply means that if there were no more listings put on the market tomorrow, how long would it take for all the homes on the market to sell? Anything less than three months supply is what we call a seller's market. Anything around three to four months is a balanced market and anything more than four months is a buyer's market. The homes selling fastest are the homes of the higher end homes that are in that four to five bedroom range and north of 500,000 pounds. This is most likely due to the fact that those sought after waterfront, beachfront, ocean view homes still command a premium and they're more rare to hit the market. And if priced correctly and well marketed, they will move fast. Interestingly, the next fastest home sale type is the two bedroom homes in Exmouth, selling in the three to 400,000 pound range, suggesting again, more high end luxury, but small homes with ocean views are going to trade the fastest. As you would expect, there is more supply of those two to three bedroom homes. However, they are still selling faster compared to flats. 
As ever, time is the enemy of price. And so if you want to get your home sold faster, make sure that it is priced on market and can trade within the average time frame for that type of home and is priced in line with other market comparables. A correctly priced home in a seller's market like this that is heading towards a more balanced market should have offers coming in within two to three weeks. If not, this could be due to a pricing issue or a marketing issue. What we can expect is for more homes to continue coming on the market over this spring and summer period and for prices to continue to come down as a result. And for those homes that aren't correctly priced or marketed, they will stick, which is going to push up the supply and move us more into that buyer's market territory. Finally, let's take a look at the KW Exeter numbers. Our average property price is 545,000, which is up on our previous reporting of 494,000 due to some new homes that have hit the market at a higher price bracket. This is pushing up our average sales price. Of the 53 agencies that serve the Exeter area, our average price ranks 12th highest of all the agents. Our average time on market is 86 days, which for the extra region means that our properties are selling in the median amount of time compared to our other agency friends in the area. I'll be in the Exmouth area and would love to be there to help you educate you more about what's happening in your hyper local market and how that's affecting home values in your community. If you see a flyer come through your door, reach out. We'd love to help you and we're here for you.